Hey, it's Brandy. Hey, this is Miguel. Hey, this is Macy Gray. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Mario Wine. Yo, Andrew Hill. Hi there, this is Nick. Hey, what's up? This is Nivea. Hey, this is Iman. It's your girl, Tamar Braxton. It's your girl, Nicole Ray. And you're watching. You're watching. And you're listening to Malcolm Music. Malcolm Music. Malcolm Music. And you are watching Malcolm Music. Rocking with Malcolm Music. Right now. You're kicking it with Malcolm Music. Malcolm Music. And I'm hanging out with my man, Malcolm. My good friend, Malcolm Music. Yeah, baby. And you're checking out Malcolm Music. Malcolm Music. Keep it right here. <laughs> so this is Malcolm from RaptorCell.de. You're watching another episode of Malcolm Music. I have the lovely, amazing Chicago's own Miss Selena Johnson, Grammy Award nominated. How are you? I'm great. You're great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So you've been in um, England. You've been in England to England before. You've been to Europe before. Um, a question that I had for, just for the beginning. How do you view sort of the different reception you get over here? in Britain versus back home in the States of your music? Um, well, it's better. It's always better here because um, uh, England, basically just people overseas, they are more receptive to soul music. And since I'm a soul singer, it's just better here. Um, and, and then I think over, you know, in America, there's so much a variety of music and um I think that it's just so much to choose from. Well, it's, it's not kind of sort of here too, but it's more watered down over there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think people just, you know, R&B is not the focus like it used to be, you know. But over here, R&B music is still very, very powerful and relevant. So I think that's the difference. I guess also because it's rare, because it's really rare to get a Selena Johnson. Because in the States, you know, they have them, have you all the time. But we're just happy every time, you know, you guys decide to come over. That too, yes. But um, I would prefer to stay over here. <laughs> America's. You have you have a brand new album, Chapter Six, Couples Therapy. Congratulations! I really love it. Thank you. Um, are you content with sort of the commercial reception you've received? Because I was so excited you were charting again, and I remember the previous album it, that really didn't happen. So I was very happy. Were you content with what the album did? Um, yes, but I don't really worry about charts and stuff. Um, my, my biggest concern is whether or not it can allow me to tour. And sometimes charting is um, helpful in, in that, you know, in trying to get that to happen. But um, since I have so many different engines, like, you know, R&B Divas and, you know, the, the television shows that I'm a part of and, and, and other things, you know, um, I try to, I just try to, just being in the market in, in America, like, if you, if you go into certain post-star markets and you keep, um, post our venues rather mm -hmm. and you keep performing in those venues and you establish a relationship whether you have a radio hit or not you just really it's almost a little bit like over here where you can um, you can create a crowd you know or I can't I'm think, trying to think of a word you can like create like a solid fan base and based on your live show okay I so see so that's what you know you see what I'm saying so you don't necessarily have to have like let us see um she doesn't have any, like, number one hit records, and neither does Anthony Hamilton. But in the States, they're getting 40, you know, 30, 40,000 a show because they're selling out theaters, you know what I'm saying, based on the what they've done, just performing, constantly performing and going into venues and performing and gaining that fan base. Okay. So, um, starting's awesome, but it's really based on your live performance. Okay, I, I see. So, you're from Chicago, and I was very excited when I first heard that the R. Kelly was going to be the executive producer of your album. Now, I already know there were some things that didn't work out right. Um, you did a song with him called License to Love, which I really love. It leaked. Can you tell us about the other, I think it was two records that you've done together, about the other song and what kind of song it was and whether we will get to hear it? Well, you may not get to hear it. Um, it's called Superman, the other song, which was my favorite of the two songs that we did. Um, License to Love is dope, but um, it, License to Love is dope, but it's a little boring to me. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm a, um, 
I do like, I'm an R. Kelly diehard fan, even though he gets on my last nerve. Okay. And he gets cussed out a lot by me. But he is my friend, and I love him and will always love him. Um, and I will always love everything that he does musically because he's a genius, and there's nothing you can do to take it away. Absolutely. Um, but uh, I just don't think that he really truly understands me sometimes, and I think that he makes these old timey songs because he thinks that um, you know I have this old soul, which I do. But I like to like have a good time. I like, you know, I like music that moves. Um, if anyone has, if you've ever seen a Selena Johnson live show, it's it's high energy from the top to bottom. I'm not one of those artists that will just stand there and sing a sorry, sappy love song. You know, I I like a lot of I like variety. So License to Love is beautiful, but if had Robert been, you know, if you had let him been in charge, it would have been an album full of License to Loves. Oh, and I don't. You see what I'm saying? I don't. So it was creative that's why versus business that put you apart. I thought maybe because. Maybe he wanted some sort of contract that you didn't want. It's like he gets all the publishing, but it was sort of artistically you wanted a different direction from him, and that's why it didn't work. Well, no, that too. Contractually, he was he was absurd. However, I could have, you know, if, if I was really really passionate about what I felt we were the direction we were going, mm -hmm. I probably would have just fought. You know, we probably just because it's it R. Out. Kelly after all. You know. Yeah, you know, I would have just worked it out, but I just. You know, I'm tired of being in um I just don't need that anymore. And okay. sometimes it's not just, it's not about an R. Kelly or Kanye West or any other man true, in this true. industry to validate any woman in this industry. No, that's true. Sometimes you just have to go out on your own and do your own thing. One of my favorite songs, I think it's like a cover. Like I've been doing for the past <laughs> I think it's cover version of Your Father, Um, Is It Because I'm Black? Now, you know R&B singer Tank, probably, and he's went on an Instagram yes. rant about how white artists do soul music and they receive so much more sort of uh, uh, um, attention, like, a, I don't know, Acclaim. whoever, whoever yeah. artist. They do the same music, but all of a sudden they're like prodigies. This is crazy. How do you view the situation yeah. and can you understand his pain and does he have a point as far as a person of color just not get, getting the short end of the stick in their own genre? Well, here's the deal. When it, it's a double edged sword. First of all, um, Tank was, even though he might have been throwing a tantrum, um, what he said was very, it's very true. A lot of it is very, very true. And um, in America, um, when a Caucasian artist does soul music, um, it's received like, oh, this big, you know, like it's this whole thing. But We've been doing it. Black people have been singing this way. This is how we sing. This is, you know, this is what it is. So I guess when a person of another color does it, I mean, you could be Chinese, and if you did it, you probably blow up too. Almost like, um, uh, what's the Chinese NBA basketball player I don't that know. played for the Knicks? But what do you say to right? those people who I say? His name. Yeah. But what do you say to those people who say, "Well, Sam Smith just does better let, music"? Let me finish. Or, yeah, let sorry, me finish. yeah. Watch this. The boy from the Knicks. He was a Chinese guy, right? Mm -hmm. He went to Harvard, but he was killing, like, snapping and playing basketball. Black people have been playing like that for years. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about 12, 13 other. So I think that sure. any other race that does something different, just like if um, Beyonce sings pop music, you know, and look at look how big she is. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same concept. However, uh, the Sam Smiths, the Adeles, they're from over here. This is the type of music that is popular here. So that's what they know. You know what I'm saying? You can't fault them for that. However, Sam Smith does sound like Tank to me. I've, I've heard that voice before. You see what I'm saying? But over here, that's what he knows. He's just singing from what he knows. So in the States, it looks like, wow, you know, this is a rarity when that's not really the case. You know, but you cannot take away from what he's done. And what he's putting into this industry musically, because that's not his fault. He what we mad because he's singing that way. <laughs> that's not his fault. This is what he's singing. This but you wouldn't say his music is just so much better, and that's why he gets four Grammys and Tank has zero. So you think it does have something to do with no, his appearance? I, well, it does. It um, it could you could say something's racial. You mm -hmm. could, but can you really say that? You know I what know. I'm saying? You're the can expert, you really so that? I'm asking you. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not an expert, and I okay. don't think any people in the industry are experts. The people that are voting for these Grammys, 
there are people that are from the olden days, you know, that are just, and then it's true. just, it's, it's just really opinion and bias. True. You know, true. if a person is hot right now, or if they pick the person they think should do well, then that's what they'll do. You see what I'm saying? I see. I so it's you. really just a matter of opinion. It's a matter of opinion. I personally do love Tang's voice. I love his music, and I prefer his music and his sound. But I do love Sam Silk's song, Stay With Me, and that other single that he just released. I like him too. He reminds me of Boy George. Oh yeah, he's great. Quiet as cat. Quiet as cat. Selena, um, I really love you on Army Divas. Your moment with Nikki Gilbert when you read her, that was oh, just God. crazy. I want to know why oh, hasn't God. the show been renewed yet? Um, what is the reason? What <sighs> did the producers we of TV One know. say? We all want to know. Actually, I, I don't know if I care anymore, but I do. Um, It can't be my focus, you know. Uh huh. But we, I, I love the concept of the show, and I thought the show was awesome for you know women in music, you know black women in music, R&B, okay. not black, it could be a white person. Yeah. Um. So I just feel like I don't know about this network. They just they do things very strangely. So okay. I don't know. Okay. Well, I think we have a, a final my question. Life. My last question is: I'm probably you kept up with the uh, next season with the with the LA divas. Um, do you like the addition of Stacy Francis and Brave of Rich Girl? How do you do? You feel as though they are up to that title because you're an R&B diva and now. They give you put them on the same platform as you, essentially. Well, you know, I don't think it's a matter of we should be comparing mm -hmm. um, what person's accolades is what you know. Um, I think the problem is is that the show is called R&B Diva. And when people think of diva, they think of the Whitney's and the, the, the Mariah's. They think of the grandiose diva. Well, Absolutely. none of us are at their level. You see what I'm saying? Um, so it's, I don't know if it's safe to compare their accolades. However, I don't know who those women are. Um, I've never heard of them. But that doesn't mean that other people have. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't listen to the radio much. So there's a bunch of people out here that I don't even know who they are. <laughs> Um, you know, certain people are added to the cast for certain reasons. Okay. Um, it's not just about, you know, oh, they're great singers and this, that, and the third. Um, for what I've seen, Brave look like looks like she's um, an aspiring artist who's trying her hardest to become something great and someone great. I have not seen Stacey Francis on the show yet. I heard that she has some affiliation with um, Whitney Houston or something. Yeah, that was some um, I, I don't yeah. know, child, because I don't be knowing these people business. But um, I look like Brave probably could turn up. You know, she looks like she's going to, you know, dance and, and do songs and, like, trying to get her career on. And you can't, you can't knock a woman for doing that. So this is an opportunity for her. And she's pretty, you know. It's not just about singing, you know, we, we gotta be cute too, you know. Okay. And seems like she can hold a tune. I haven't heard the girl sing. But honestly, you don't um, think it cheapens the brand a little bit with all these accomplished, award nominated discography having singers and then, you know, you have a Chrisette, Michelle, a Kelly Price, a Selena Johnson, and, you know, somebody who well, has you gotta, you, a song. What about the people who are aspiring? What about people who are trying to get to that level? Shouldn't we be trying to promote and motivate someone new as well? I guess. Wouldn't you guys like to see someone's journey become into an R&B diva? Now, whether you whether or not you all feel that that's what it is, now you have that right. That ain't got shit to do with us. Oop, did I curse? <laughs> um, that doesn't have anything to do with us. You all have the absolute right to say, I don't think this is that, because you're the consumer. So you have that right. However, it does make the show interesting. I mean, look, me and you are sitting here talking about it. It's true. It's true. Selena uh -huh. Johnson, <laughs> any final things you want to let the people know? Um, anything that, what's, what's the next single? What's the next video? What's coming up for Selena Johnson? Because you have a movie, right? So I, there I was do, a cliffhanger you know on, the, on the first song. You do your song. homework. I like you. You ain't no joke. Um, <laughs> yes, I do have a movie. It's called Couples Therapy, and it's coming out soon, and it's based on the album. It's awesome. It's so much fun, and all the people that are featured on the art, on the album are in the movie. And um, it's coming out on a very, very, very big network very soon. I can't tell yet. BT, VH1, TV1. One. one of those. One of those three. One of those three. you said. One of those you said. Okay. Um, but um, it's coming, and I'm very excited about it. You guys are going to have a great time. The next thing was Harmony with Dave Hollister. 
So that will be and, the continuation uh, of... A book. Okay. Because yeah. how will the perfectly book, worthless video book. continue? Because there was this cliffhanger, yes, there was a will. gun. I can't there was... tell you. It's in the it's in the movie though. Okay. We'll see what happens. Okay, in the movie. okay. So it's very exciting. It's very cool because you'll get to see everything that took place. Selena Johnson, thank you so. so very much. It was such a pleasure. I've been a fan forever. I wish you so much luck, Yay! so much uh, everything, and um. Yeah, I think we we have to wrap it up here because there's other people in line yeah. to, to yeah, talk to. Yeah, I get too mad at you. Look, <laughs> okay. Mwah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta leak the R. Kelly record though. S -s Slide it to me via it's email. Already leaked in the, world. the second one too. What do you mean, the Superman one? Yes. It's not all the way done, God, but I don't have it. Um, I didn't leak the first one, but the second one I don't. Some engineer, some, some assistant can can drop it somewhere. Oh, they gonna do it, child. That's what they be doing. They be, they be cheating anyway. They gonna do it. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, well, was nice talking to you. It was lovely. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.